Well, welcome to the Longy Global Champions Tour here in Madrid. And I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Spanish rider Sergio Alvarez Moya. Sergio, you had a win here last week, but it's a wonderful setting here in Madrid. Yeah, obviously, it's one of the best uh, globals, I think. And uh, in fact, being in Spain uh, is even makes it more uh, exciting for the Spanish riders. Madrid show's been here for many years, well over a hundred years, but how important is it for you and for Spanish riders as a whole to have this as part of the Longines Global Champions Tour now? Well, I think Global Tour uh, is uh, one or two steps uh, above uh, every other shows and uh, I think to be part of the Global Tour is very important for, for uh, Madrid and uh, to have uh, one Global Tour in Spain is uh, obviously very important for us. We've seen a global tour in Spain for a number of years, but the setting here as part of an established event with big crowds must give you and all the other riders a huge boost. Yeah, it's always uh, pretty busy here. I mean, uh, for the Grand Prix, I expect that it will be fully packed and uh, it makes a nice atmosphere. And uh, I won the Grand Prix a couple of years ago. It was really, really good. And you won a class here last year, so you've yep. tasted victory in this arena on a number of occasions. And you've actually got a wonderful record in the Longy Global Champions Tour through through all the five-star classes. I was looking through. There's very few years you haven't put at least two or three victories in there. Yeah, it's been okay and it's been good uh, for the last few years. I never won a Grand Prix, Global Grand Prix, but I'll try, I'll try hard. How much pressure does it put on the home riders now wanting to take a home Grand Prix as part of the tour? Well, I don't think it's any extra pressure. I mean, it's just uh, as much as any other rider can have, but it just make it nicer and a bit cozier to have all the crowd supporting you and being home. And bring us on to that, your horse that you're riding, Carlo? Yep, I'm riding Carlo tonight. Carlo, former Nick Skelton ride, and actually, I remember when you took over the ride, you, Nick worked with you a lot to really develop, and you had a fantastic season. Yeah, it started off very, very good. We've been successful from the beginning. It was maybe a little bit too many shows at the end of a year and then uh, it went uh, uh, down a little bit but now he had a good break and he jumped good last week in Antwerp as a first show and I think he's in good form. And how do you fancy your chances in the Grand Prix and the other Spanish riders in fact? Well to be honest I had not so much time to look who is riding and who is not riding so I cannot tell you much about the others but I'm just uh, about myself, I'm pretty optimistic and I'll give my best. And this is a very different setting to, to those of us that were in Antwerp last week and you've competed on many events on the tour, the Big Grass Arena here, the likes, this is similar to Hamburg and to, yeah. to the likes of Valkensvard, but Antwerp in a, in a surface arena and, and London, they're very different settings and very different challenges for you as a rider. Yeah, obviously it's like a completely different show, this is more like Maybe not in the middle of the city, but the settings are better for the horses. You can work your horse a little bit better. If I have to choose, I respect all the shows and I like them all because I think the uh, organizers, they make a big effort to make such a show in the middle of the city, which is nice for the crowd. But for us riders, such a show like this or Hamburg is a little bit easier. We can work the horse anytime and we can have a bit more space. Uh, like some horses, they get a little bit stressful when they are all the time in the in the stables and here it's a lot easier to relax them and, and have them in good condition. And obviously uh, a Longy Global Champions Tour in, in your home country, tell me a little bit about your base here in Spain. Uh, where I live you mean? Mm. Well I'm uh, based for a few years already in La Coruña where we have uh, two shows, two international shows. Uh, it's about 600 kilometers away from me, Spain is quite a big land. <laughs> But uh, I mean, it's good. The only thing uh, we are a bit far away from uh, from the big shows, and uh, when we have to look for horses, it makes it a little bit difficult with the traveling. But uh, I mean, I can't complain. I move all the time up and down, and uh, it's been good so far. I'm very happy there. And your wife's also competing here this week too. Yeah, she's just doing it for a hobby. I mean, she works and uh, she spends a bit time uh, with riding, but not so much. And she's doing the two star show, so it works out good for us. And what about the rest of your string? We've seen a, a Spanish win already this season for you with Zipper in the Grand Prix. How are the rest of the horses coming on? Well, I've got Zipper that I jumped yesterday in uh, Nations Cup in Lumen and uh, then maybe Action Breaker is, is jumping again. I, I hope uh, he stays sound and uh, it, will, it will be a, a huge uh, help for the other horses because he can jump any Grand Prix in the world. And then I got some young ones, some young ones that they are really pointing good. I have one seven-year-old, which I'm very optimistic with him. And who, aside from yourself, the other Spanish riders we should be looking out for in this Grand Prix? Well, f from the Spanish one, I don't really know. That, as I told you before, I don't know who is riding because I just arrived from uh, <laughs> Belgium this morning, and I don't really know who is riding or who is not riding. But so turning that round a little bit, who would you be your big rivals back here in Spain? Who would be the person that you've you've most had a duel with, if you like? Well, I don't know. It's difficult to say. Actually, it's not really. I don't really have anyone like I can say.
but uh, I think uh, got some good riders when they have the right horse and the right moment they can they can also try to win the Grand Prix and and be successful. So hopefully a Spanish win, but we'll see how it goes. I hope so. <laughs> so you're very good luck. Thank you. Thank you.